Hello Divination and welcome. Today's tutorial is about how to create a five email opt-in designs you can create with Divi's email opt-in module. These are the final results we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating our brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and click on add new. Let's give our page a title. So I'm just gonna call this five email opt-in, but of course you can call this page whatever you want. Next, we're going to click on Use Divi Builder, and then we're going to build from scratch. Next, we're going to add one column, so I'm going to select this one here. Now, we need an email opt-in, so I'm going to search for it and select it. So here, we need to update a few things. So um, if you want to follow step-by-step -step and use all the settings I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's start with the background color. So I'm going to come over here, click on background, and I'm going to add my custom color. So I'm just going to paste it. Right, so the next thing we need to do is to go to the layout. So I'm gonna come over here on design, layout. So what we need here is to have the body on top and form on bottom. So let's change it here and select that. Next, we're gonna come over here to fields because we want to add some rounded corners. So we're gonna add zero pixels here because currently we have three pixels by default. So we want proper rectangles there. All right, so moving on, we want our text orientation to be set to center. So I'm gonna scroll down here, click on text, and we're gonna change this to center. Now we're gonna come over here to title font, and we're gonna set this to light, and the size to 36. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is to add our button text color. We're gonna set this to white, and then we need to add our button background color. So I'm just gonna click here on this plus button and paste my color in here. Right, so for the border width and border radius, we're gonna set this to zero. Right, so the next thing we need to do is to add uh, some padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and I'm going to add three VW and I'm gonna add this both to the top and the bottom. And then over here, we're gonna set this to five VW. So now this has uh, added some breathing space around our form, which is fantastic. Now it's time to add our border shadow. So I'm gonna come over here and click on box shadow. And the option we're gonna go with is this one right here. So the next thing we need to do now is to add all our settings. So I'm gonna start with our horizontal position and set this to 25 pixels. And over here, we're gonna set it to minus 25. And now you can see that it's um, showing here on the top. Next, we need to add the shadow color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my values between the brackets. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same values as I'm using, I will leave a link to the post in the description below, which has all these settings. Right, so the next thing we need to do now is to add some custom CSS in order to take out the left padding that is added by the form by default. So I'm gonna come over here to advanced, custom CSS, and we need to go into the opt-in form and add this CSS. Great. Now let's edit our row. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then I'm gonna come into my row settings, design. And I'm gonna start off with adding a custom width. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and uh, selecting use custom width. And we're gonna set this to about 600 pixels. And then we're gonna come over here to spacing and add some custom padding. So custom padding top, we're gonna to set this to 25 pixels. And then we're gonna set it to zero to the bottom and 25 to the right. Now let's go to our borders. So we're gonna start off here with, with our bottom border. So I'm gonna click here on the bottom uh, border and we're gonna set the width to about 25 pixels. And for the color here, we're just gonna add a transparent, transparent color. And next we're gonna add a left border and same thing, we set this to 25 and we're gonna add transparency to that. Now we can add box shadows to this. So I'm gonna scroll down here, click on box shadow and choose my option here. So we're gonna start off here with our horizontal position and uh, set this to 50 pixels. And then we're gonna come over here and set it to minus 50 so that it shows on the top. And for the spread strength, we're gonna set this to minus 25. And then we're gonna add our shadow color by clicking here on this eyedropper tool and pasting our values between these brackets. So that's our final design. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. All right, so let's move on to example number two. So as we did before, we're gonna start by creating a new section. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, and we're gonna add single column. And we're also gonna come over here and search for our email opt-in. We're gonna select it. So over here, we're just gonna add a title and we can just call this join our email list. 
And for the footer here, we can just say no spam, we promise. Right, so now it's time to add our background. So we can either do this by adding an image or by adding a dark color. So I'm gonna go with a dark color. So I'm gonna click here on background and I'm just gonna replace this with my new color. And then we're gonna save. Right, so the next stage here is to go into our row settings and uh, we are going to add a custom uh, width. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and we're gonna set our custom width to 100%. So make sure you toggle this to percentage and drag this all the way to 100. So for now, we're gonna save and then we're gonna go into our module. So the next thing we wanna do here is to get rid of all this text here. So I'm just gonna delete that and let's go to our layout. So I'm gonna come over here and click on design layout. So what we need here is body on top, form on bottom. Select that. Right, so now it's time to add our colors to our form field. So I'm gonna come over here to form fields and form background color. We're gonna set this to uh, full transparency. So I'm just gonna drag the slider down here and add my values between the brackets, just like that. And then for the field rounded corners, we're gonna set this to zero. And then for the borders, we're gonna set this to two pixels and the border is gonna be white. So I'm gonna come over here and choose my color. Now let's go to our text orientation. So I'm gonna click here on text and set this to centered. And now we can go in and add our text. So for our title font, we're gonna set this to Lato. So I'm gonna come over here and search for my font. So this is a Google font. I'm gonna select it. For our font weight, we're gonna set this to light, all caps, and our title text size is gonna be 4VW. Right, and then over here for our line height, we're gonna set this to 1EM. Now let's move on to our field color. We're gonna come over here. Right, so for the field color, we're gonna set this to white. And for the field font, uh, we're gonna set this to Lato as well. So I'm gonna select it. And uh, for the size, this is going to be 3.5 VW. And here it's gonna be light. And over here for the letter spacing, because right now we have quite a lot of space between um, these letters. So let's set our letter spacing to 0.1 EM. And for our line height, we're gonna set this to 1.3. So um, these borders here, I just realized we just need to add the line to the bottom. So I'm gonna go back to my settings and I'm going to set my border here just to the bottom. So while this is selected, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then I'm gonna to come to the bottom one here and set it to two. And let's go back here on our field text and just make sure that we have the right settings. Now, if your text here is way too big, all you have to do is to reduce it here until you're happy with the uh, with the size. So I'm just gonna bring, it th uh, bring this down to about two VW. And then let's move on and work on the button. So before we go and fix the button here, we just need to come to our body text and we're gonna set this to 0.5 EM for our body letter spacing. All right, so now it's time to go and uh, customize our button. So I'm gonna click here on button, use custom styles for button. And first of all, we're gonna set our size here to four VW. Next, we're gonna come over here to our bottom border radius and set it to zero. And for our letter spacing, we're gonna set this to 0 0.1. And just to make sure that everything matches, let's come over here and um, change our button font. So we're gonna change it from default to Lato. And uh, we're also going to add our font weight, which is supposed to be light. Now let's go to our custom padding. So I'm gonna click here on spacing and uh, we need to add 10 VW to the top and bottom. Activate the chain, and we're gonna do the same, left and right. So to polish our design, all we need to do now is to add this custom CSS snippet. So I'm gonna click here on advanced, custom CSS, and I'm gonna start by adding my opt-in form field and paste my CSS code in here. The next code goes in the subscribe button. So again, I'm gonna paste it here. So now this has just added some space. So now everything is evenly spaced. Right, so what we need to do to enhance our design here is to add an image. So I'm gonna come over here, click on background, and we can add our image here by clicking, clicking here on the third tab, clicking this plus button, and I'm going to search for my image. So I'm gonna go with this one here, click upload an image. 
And now you can see our image has been applied to the background and now that looks much better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save and pretty much this is our final design. Now, the beauty about this uh, design is the fact that it is um, responsive, so this will fit very well on any screen size. All right, so let's move on and create our next design. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, regular. And again, we're gonna use one column and then we're gonna click this plus button and add our email opt-in. I'm gonna select this. We're gonna come over here to our background and I'm gonna add my background color. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors, I will leave a link in the post in the comments below. All right, so let's come over here and now add our layout. So what we need here is body on top, form on the bottom. But before we do that, let's get rid of uh, some of this text. So I'm just gonna delete all that. And over here on the top, we're just gonna say join our newsletter. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to design, layout, and I'm gonna choose body on top, form on bottom. bottom. All right, so now that we have this, uh, the next thing we need to do is to come over here. Uh, in fact, we need to go to our text orientation. So I'm gonna click here on text and center this. Now it's time to add a color to our button. So I'm gonna come over here to button styles, say yes. And then we're gonna add our background color by clicking here on this plus button and pasting it. Right, so over here we can see this white border is making things look ugly. So we're gonna get rid of that. And for our border radius, we're gonna set this to zero. So what we need to do is to save this for now and our custom CSS needs to be applied to the page. So I'm gonna come over here to expand settings, click on this gear icon for our page settings, click on advanced, custom CSS, and this is where I'm gonna paste my code. So we're gonna save this. Now we need to go back into our module settings, click on advanced, CSS ID and classes, and we're going to set a CSS ID of skinny. And now you can see that everything is all now in one line. Now let's move over to our final design. So I'm gonna go ahead now and save, click this plus button here, click on regular, single column. And again, we're gonna choose our email opt-in. I'm gonna select it. So what you may want to do here is to reduce some of this text. So I'm just gonna delete some of it. So over here, we want to add an image. So to do that, we need to click here on add media and uh, we can add an image of maybe the book that we are giving away. So in this case, it's an ebook. So, um, so the image size you want to use here needs to be not more than 200 pixels. So you can always toggle here and uh, make sure that um, it's not that big. So um, the dimensions as well need to be the dimensions of uh, something similar to a book. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna go through and see if I have uh, something that could uh, work for my book. So there we go, we have this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. So as you can see now, it's added to our form. All right, so the next thing we need to do now is to, to add some uh, text under the footer. So this is optional, of course, so we can just say no spam. But of course, this is optional, as I mentioned. All right, so moving on. We wanna come here and make sure that this is centered. So I'm just gonna come over here and make sure all this is centered. All right, great, so moving on. Right, so the next thing we need to do here is to add a logo just below um, that text on the footer. So I'm gonna click here on add media and then I'm just gonna come over here to my media library and choose the logo. So I'm gonna click here and notice that the logo that I'm choosing here is transparent. So now you can see here, it's showing just below this message. Now let's give our module a background image. So I'm gonna come over here to background, click on the third tab and then click this plus button. So the image I'm gonna go with here is, uh, let's try this one right here. So I'm gonna click upload an image and let's see how that looks. Okay, actually that doesn't look bad. Now let's add our gradient colors. So I'm gonna start off with our left color and this is going to be a really transparent color. So I'm gonna come over here, click the tab click this plus button and add my first color. So I'm just gonna drag the slider down and paste my value between the brackets like that. I'm gonna add my second color. And again, it's gonna be a transparent color. I'm gonna paste that. And then we have an option here to place the gradient above the image. So I'm gonna click here and say yes. Now let's customize our button. So I'm going to click here on design. 
button and use custom styles for button. So we're going to start here with the uh, button text color. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. Next, we're going to add our button background color. So I'm going to click this plus button and paste my color in here. We're going to remove the border width. Now over here on the button letter, button letter spacing, we're going to set this to five. And on the font, we're going to set this to ultra bold. And let's make it all caps as well. Now let's set our width for our opt-in form. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and we're going to set this to 700 pixels and we're going to align this to the center. Now we need to give our design some breathing space. So let's come over here to spacing and add some custom padding. So we're just going to add 3VW, top to bottom, left to right. So to make it quicker, you just add this um, chain icon. So as you can see here, that has been applied both to the left and the right. Okay, so that's, that's looking good. Let's move on to our final design. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Then click this plus button, regular single column. And uh, as we did before, we're going to add our email opt-in. So the first thing we're going to do here is to give our email opt-in a background gradient. So I'm going to come over here, click on the second tab and add our gradient colors. So I'm going to click here to add our first color. Just going to paste it. And I'm also going to paste the second color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that we have our two colors, let's um, continue by adding here a radial gradient. And the direction is going to be top right. So now let's uh, work on our title font. So I'm going to click here. And um, for our title font, uh, we're going to set this to 36. And for our font weight, it's going to be bold. Now let's go to our custom padding. So to do that, we need to come over here to spacing. So on the spacing here, we can add 6VW to all the sides. So I'm going to add this to top, bottom, left and right. And this time to make this slightly different, we're going to add some rounded corners. So we're going to come over here to border. And the first thing we're going to do is to break this chain because I need to apply the borders to different sides. So on the top left, we're going to set this to 50. And we're going to do the same to bottom left. So for now, we're going to save our settings. And then we're going to go to our row settings. Click on design, sizing. And uh, we're going to make our custom width or set it to 100. So I'm going to say yes. And then I'm just going to toggle this and drag it all the way to 100%. Now we're ready to customize the section setting and add the cutout frame effect with those section dividers. So I'm going to go ahead now and save this. And then we're going to come over here and click the section settings. So before we go to our section dividers, we need to come over here to background and add our background color. Next, we're going to come over here to design dividers. And then we're going to choose our divider style. So I'm going to go with this one right here. So we're going to add our top divider color. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And for the divider height, I'm going to set this to 12VW. The repeat is going to be 0 0.8. And then we're going to flip this. And then over here, the divider arrangement, we're just going to change this to on top of section content. Now we need to do the same for the bottom divider. So I'm going to click here on bottom, choose the similar style. We're going to add a the color. So I'm going to click here and paste my color in here. I'm going to flip this. We're going to add the uh, content on top. So for the divider height, I'm going to set this to 12 VW. And then over here for our divider horizontal repeat, we're going to set this to 0.8. And then we're going to flip horizontal and vertical. So pretty much this is our final design. So let's go ahead and save. Okay, so let's take a look at our final designs. So as I mentioned before, we're not going to um, exit the Visual Builder because as soon as we do that, all these form inputs are going to disappear because we need to make sure that we connect this to our email provider. All right, so this is our first design. And this is our second one. And then this is our skinny type. And this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials.